9.30 p.m. Thursday evening. It is the eve of Good Friday and city residents gather at various entertainment spots. At Spartan's Lounge Parklands, Mary making is on. Spicing the night is a sale and smoking of shisha, but this is not a unique happening. Later on, we move to another entertainment spot. It is now 10.30 p.m. at the Arabian Nights Shisha Lounge located at Pangani Shopping Center. Wow. This is a popular joint. Before the ban, a pot cost only 300 shillings. Now, because of demand, it is selling at 700 shillings. Those not keen on spending their evenings at the lounge can still puff away from the comfort of their cars. The situation is replicated in a number of clubs in the city, both high-end and estate-based. This putting to test the government's ban on the sale and smoking of shisha in December 2017. But while this goes on, the National Agency for Campaign Against Drug Abuse, Nakada, says while the ban is on, they had adopted sensitization as a method to read it out of the Kenyan market. This, though, has registered little success. And most people have said they did not know that it was that bad. Now they are aware. It's something that came and people took it for granted uh, because it had uh, a strawberry and a vanilla flavor and they thought it was fun. But right now, we are sure we can be able to say it's not the best thing that should have happened to us. Shisha was banned in Kenya by then health CS Cleopa Mailu. This, he said, was based on the health risks associated with the water pipe smoke. In the Gazette notice, Mailu said anyone arrested would be liable to a fine of 50,000 shillings or imprisonment of up to six months. Attempts by 15 businessmen to have the ban lifted were declined by the High Court on January 15th this year. The ruling on the case is set for April 28th. Mirian Nyambura, Citizen Weekend.